Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study embedded system development and environment that is IDE. So an IDE that is integrated development environment is a software that assists the programmers in developing the software. And IDEs normally consist of source source code editor, a compiler, a linker or locator, and a debugger. So IDEs devoted to one specific programming language or one specific processor or one specific hardware but more often the ides supports multiple languages and multiple processors so some of the examples of ides for embedded system are gnu compiler collection that is gcc ellipse and delphi these are the some of the examples of ides for embedded system okay so here we have the block diagram of uh, embedded development environment so it consists um, PC that is personal computer it will have uh, IDE tool and EDE tool so IDE tool for uh, software checking and EDE tools for hardware uh, checking okay IDE to example for the IDE tools are the uh, kill micro version okay and target board it is uh, embedded system board and uh, hardware debugging tools are the CRO logic analyzer multiple or multimeter so ID tools is required to run the firmware here and uh, the emulator emulator is the device and which is used for debugging the hardware and it is an hardware device to check the hardware component okay so the emulator which is the hardware it is used for checking the correctness of the hardware components and simulator we have here simulator simulator what it does which verifies the functionalities of the program and it is the software for verifying the firmware functionality and real timeline is lack in the simulator okay and here we have different debugging techniques first one is uh, incremental ee from based firmware debugging and second one is inline breakpoint based uh, firmware debugging and third one monitor program based firmware debugging fourth one in circuit emulator and fifth one is on chip uh, debugging so here the emulator it is checking the hardware device and simulator it is checking the software okay first method we will see that is uh, incremental e from based uh, firmware debugging so in this uh, method they have or they use a rom that is read only memory for fusing the program okay so instead of fusing the uh, inline program they divide the program into the smaller programs and then fuse it into into rom and uh, this advantage of this is uh, it takes uh, lots of time for uh, dividing the programs and uh, for inserting it into um, memory and next technique that is inline breakpoint based firmware debugging uh, in this method in, a, in the program we can insert a inline breakpoint so inline if we have a 500 line program so uh, for a 10 line program we can insert a breakpoint another for another 10 line program we can insert another breakpoint like this we can insert a breakpoint and those breakpoints are used to check the functionality of the firmware and it checks the it uh, checks till that breakpoint and gives the message uh, whether the code is running properly or what okay so like this uh, we can check the correctness of the program or whether the uh, program is running properly or what Okay, by inserting the breakpoint, we can check the 
correctness of the program and next method is monitor program based firmware debugging so in this uh, technique we have uh, personal computer and we have a target board uh, okay and these two devices will communicate with the uh, proper communication communication interfaces so we have used here rs232 communication interface so in a target board uh, we have a rom here okay and that that rom a uh, consist of or it it will have a monitor and which contains the required commands for downloading the programs so in target board we have a rom that is read only memory in that rom we are going to insert a monitor and that monitor contains the required commands for debugging the program so we can have rom uh, for uh, storing the software and which contains the separate monitor and which is used for debugging okay and it follows the uh, print lineless architecture okay and next method uh, for debugging is the uh, in circuit emulator uh, so in in circuit me uh, method we have a pc and a ICE and a target board we have PC and ICE will communicate with each other by using the RS232 cable ICE and target board will use some other types of communication interfaces for communication okay and we here we have one more device that is adapter adapter which is connected in between the ICE and target board so here instead of directly fusing the program into the target board so we can create the uh, replica of the program in another processor so we have created it in ICE ICE here then check whether it, it is it is working properly or not uh, the one of the disadvantage of this method is it is costly okay and it requires more hardware so that is one of the disadvantages of the uh, this technique and last one is on chip uh, debugging so here we have on chip debugging uh, circuit so it consists uh, pc and a target board okay target board it will have uh, jtag port there is joint test action group port and it has a uh, four pins for data transfer in jtag interface okay the four pins are uh, tdi tdo tclk and trst so tdi is for testing the data in okay input data we are going to test by using the tdi pin so tdo is used for testing the data out and tclk it is used for testing the clock and t uh, rst is used for testing the reset pin so here we have um, four pins for for data transfer into the uh, jtag interface so in this technique uh, we have another uh, module that is boundary scan development language uh, so we call it as a uh, bsdl okay so uh, we can check interconnection between the systems here so we have connected multiple systems here uh, all device should use the one pin for debugging all device should use one pin for a debugging and all the clocks are shorted here the input of the one device act as the output of the previous device okay in this system the input of the uh, one device act as the output of the previous device and we are checking the output using boundary scan path in this method for software we check using boundary cell method okay and we can write using bsdl for uh, jtag interface so this is about the on chip debugging so like this we can uh, check the software as well as the hardware component in, components in the 
एम्बेडेड सिस्टम थैंक यू